It's that season again, when presidential hopefuls climb on the bales of hay and try to convince Republican and Democratic Iowa voters to choose them as their party's nominee, without saying anything that could come back to haunt them. Corporations are people, my friend. The 161st Iowa State Fair kicks off this week, and like decades past, 2016 candidates will be shaking hands, kissing babies, and most importantly, eating pork chops. It seems no one can become president without eating a pork chop or three in Iowa. But the fair is more than just politicians chowing down in public, although food is one of the main attractions, including various fried delicacies, such as deep fried butter. Butter is big here in Dairyland. The fair hosts an annual contest sculpting a cow out of butter, and past years have also included a butter Last Supper and a butter Tiger Woods. Then there are the rides, the games, the auctioneer competition, and of course the farm animal exhibits. It all brings in big money for Iowa. The economic impact of the 11-day event is estimated at $150 million. More than a million people are expected to attend this year, and officials say the fair will feature five to 6,000 pork chops served every day, 70 different kinds of food offered on a stick, 40,000 ribbons awarded to exhibitors, and 1,600 tons of manure. But the biggest sideshow this year? 19 political candidates vying for Iowans' votes, one pork chop at a time. <laughs>